Hello, hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. This is Leanne from Resin Shine Creations, and I hope you are all doing well. In today's video, I am taking a chopping board that I got off range, and I will create resin geode art. And this time I am using real quartz crystals. And I got these ones off from Just For You Online UK. And as these are real crystals, I'm kind of sweating a bit because I know there is no uh, place for mistakes and I have to do well so the pressure is on so this board is about 33 centimeters in diameter I painted white and now I taking my real crystal points and placing them where I like so I prefer working with odd numbers so in then i think i put down about nine of them and they so far looking great Right, before I move on to the next stage, I just remind you that I'm having a giveaway. Uh, it's happening right now in these weeks. So read this description how to participate in it. You can win one of these three prizes that are made by me so yes read the description and participate the names are coming nicely along right so back to the project these are quartz crystal chips and I'm just opening the packages and placing them in the right place and yeah I think I barely had enough so it would be nice if uh, some of you my resin crafters could tell if you have any places where you buy your crystals from in bulk so they come out cheaper and also i'm wondering what kind of wood panels you use for the base of your paintings do you buy like from some hardware shop and then cut yourself or you buy pre-cutted from amazon I've seen on Amazon it's quite expensive so of course always the costs are in mind to get the supplies lower cost so you have better profit once you sell your work and there you saw me just to drizzle some resin on top to uh, cover the chips so they stay in place and this is the next day and these are the colors that I'll be using I have premixed my resin and today I'm using a resin called apex resin it is from just for you online UK and it is absolutely amazing I love it and it's really really thick so it's great for artwork and great for seascapes and also great for top coating because it is heat resistant 
up to 100 degrees, which is absolutely fantastic. And also, it is touch dry in 2 hours and fully cures in 24 hours. So, here I have premixed my colors. I still carry on by working simply. Uh, which I mean, I just use three colors. I don't want to overcomplicate it at the moment. And I think it's working so far great for me. And also, it's very important for these kind of jobs to have a, a leveled surface so the resin does not escape from one side. And look how thick is this resin, it's amazing. And this time I let the resin go over the edges, so I'll have everything covered in resin. And of course you saw me, I show in the beginning that I did put some tape on bottom, so it's all nice and tidy at the end. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now and let you enjoy this pour and I will come back in a bit. And after I finished pouring my resin, I spent quite a bit uh, going over the edges and making sure that they are covered nicely. And this is the next day, my resin has cured 
and I am going to make here my own kind of product varnish so I mix uh, pigment together with varnish and after mixing I can use it to paint the areas on my art geode where I desire and it's really nice and easy way to get this beautiful color and after it dries nicely as well so I wanted to paint this gold around my crystals just to kind of emphasize and just I didn't show you on camera but uh, it was pretty simple and straightforward I got some more um, crystal chips and just with hot glue went over the edge and uh, put some there I know some people uh, do this step with resin but I was a bit too scared to do it and I decided to go this way and of course as I say usual you just need to try and see what works better for you how you are more comfortable doing things because there are more than one way of doing everything and always needs to find the way that it's more suitable just for you right that done next step I mix it some resin and I'm adding lots of glitter and I'm gonna make some gold glitter lines so basically I'm starting now working on the finishing touches which are the lines as we see on geode artworks so I put this bit of glitter and after I put about twice as much I'm just not showing here and after I put it in the ziplock bag you can use piping bag or I've seen other people use syringes again what's best for you and it's a bit runny at the moment so I left it to sit for about 10-15 minutes so it's a bit hardens up and this is still apex resin that I'm using so I thought if in 20 minutes it will cure then it would be great to let it sit for 10 and now I'm starting to apply my embellishment lines and I would say this part for me is the most stressful one because it's very important to get it right as after you can't do nothing really about it so I put these two dots I thought would be really cute little detail to have but in a minute you're gonna see that they decided to expand and go together with the lines and I had to babysit them for a while and keep just uh, looking after them and cleaning the resin so I still get a dot and a lines but it's all good fun it's all learning curve for me uh, I discovered that maybe it's better to just uh, make a little resin dots somewhere on some uh, silicone mold so you are have ready the dots for the next time and you don't need to spend your time babysitting and even gonna look better as well 
So this is the next day and it is the last step for me and it is again to just uh, draw the lines into the piece and as I mentioned before it's something that I'm a bit still struggling with but after doing it this time I felt that maybe there is a hope for me and I should not give up. I know I should just look more inspirations like on pin Pinterest and uh, see actual some pieces of uh, geode, how they look. And here I'm just using Posca pens. And this is the finished results. And you know what? I absolutely adore it i think it's a stunning piece of art finally i made something amazing that i'm really impressed myself and i am looking forward to creating some more pieces like that so if you found this video useful and entertaining please let me know by leaving comment down below but for now i'm saying goodbye until next time, keep creating. Bye!